Alrighty, we are still recording. Hey guys, I'm recording a video real quick, so uh, you guys just don't yell if that's okay. Thank you. There it is. Living with roommates. <laughs> Welcome back to Brendo Box Vlogs, uh, a title I will soon be changing as I haven't really vlogged in like months and posted anything vlog related in months. This video is all about getting a job in New York. <laughs> Now, when I say getting a job, I don't mean, um, like, career-wise. I mean, maybe. I guess these jobs could be turned into careers for people, but, I, you know, I'm not talking about the jobs that, like, you go to school for, and then there are college fairs at school, and then they hire you and then say, move to New York, and that's where you'll do your job. I'm talking about when you get to New York and you're trying to follow your dreams of whatever it is that you want to do in New York, but you couldn't get that whatever it was right out of school. You need a survival job on the side while you wait to get that. It's easy. It's easier for me to describe as an actor because my job is auditioning and then getting one gig from an audition and then doing it and then waiting again. That's fully what my job consists of. I'm not talking. I'm talking. Uh, so yes, I need a survival job, and so this is that type of video, I guess, advice. New York moves very fast. When people put out hiring ads, they usually want to hire someone to start work in like the next day or two. It's very rare that they'll be like, yeah, you can wait like two weeks before you start working for us. They need that position filled now because everything in New York moves very, very fast. The competition is steep and you need to get on your game ASAP in almost anything you do and that includes jobs. I tried really, really hard to get a job before I got to New York and because uh, when I was reaching out to companies, I was telling them, hey, I'm not in the city yet. I will be in September though. They'll be like, okay, well then like call us back in September. And if we're hiring, maybe. The sooner you want to get a job in New York, the sooner you need to come to New York. Otherwise, you're just going to have to wait it out a little bit. Just like New York moves fast, the interview and hiring process does move fast. The interviews that I did for these jobs lasted no more than five to 10 minutes. So you need to make your points uh, incredibly specific and precise immediately in the interview. You can't wait, you can't sit around and chit chat and try and think of some things to say on the spot, unless you're really good at it, then like do that, do that thing. But another thing I noticed about these interviews was they won't call you into the interview if they don't think that you can do the job. Lots of people can do the job. What the interview is specifically about is how you'll represent the company on and off site. That is just about what kind of person you are. If you're a good person, if you're a likable person. For me, the route that I go to share that with people is to tell very specific stories uh, as my answers to questions. You know, when someone asks me, you know, about my adaptability or reliability, I don't just say I am adaptable and I am reliable. I give them a specific uh, story um, that sometimes I like to try to sprinkle, sprinkle a little humor on it. I try and give them a specific story that proves and or shows why uh, I am those, those things, I possess those qualities. And in doing that, I found a lot more success than trying to logically figure out like how to share with them things, just telling them the story. The way I got my catering gig was in the interview. After telling a story or two, uh, the my boss said to me, you have zero experience in this field, but I kind of like you, so I'm gonna move you on to the next round of interviews. And voila, now I have work for this catering company that pays me a lot of money and uh, I do, you know, solid work for. This shouldn't have to be said. Yo, these sirens today. What is there an emergency in New York City? This should not have to be said, but 
don't be late. Figure out a way to not be late. If that means going super early because you haven't quite figured out the transit yet, which two months in, by the way, I still haven't quite figured out the transit, then go super early. But you cannot be late to these job interviews because they move so fast. They don't have time to get people to catch up. If you're late automatically, they think, okay, well, you don't care enough to be on time, so we're just automatically not gonna hire you. Three of my different job interviews that I went to, they would shut doors to people who didn't get there on time. And then if they tried to come in, they'd be like, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do. So don't be late, guys. It's really simple. Be present with whoever it is that's interviewing you. Be able to have an actual conversation with that person. Don't go in with a lot of pre-planned phrases. Know some things you might wanna bring about or talk about, like I said earlier, but don't go in and be robotic. They wanna to talk to a human. Humanity is what they're looking for in the interview. And the best way to show off your humanity is show them that you're able to have an actual, real conversation about yourself and the company with whoever it is that's interviewing you. It requires making a direct eye contact with them. It requires naturally smiling in places where a smile is necessary. And it requires uh, the appropriate amount of speaking or talking. I realize that me saying that isn't necessarily helpful because I can't really like show you guys exactly what that means. The conversation within the interview really shouldn't feel any different than you talking to a friend of yours, a casual friend. That's kind of what I, I liken it to. It's like almost like you're catching up with an old friend and you're just sharing experiences from your past of accepted specifically about your work past or your work skill sets. But again, you only have 10 minutes to do that. So you really have to go in prepared. You have to go in prepared. Be prepared for anything in life. But like this specifically, be prepared. I hope these tips are helpful um, because if you follow them, hopefully you won't end up looking like a fool like I did. Yeah, so like, I don't know, like, I feel like because he's 39 years old, he's gonna be like, okay, like, let's settle down, let's have kids, and I'm like, I'm just more so into the fact that, like, he has an electric toothbrush. Like, something about that to me says, like, I'm an adult. I'll call you back. Sorry, am I in the right place? Mm -hmm. Is, is, yeah, oh. yeah, um, just take a seat, I'll be with you in just a moment. Uh, great! Thank you for your patience. Of course. I understand you probably have a lot on your plate. Oh no, you don't understand. No, I didn't mean- Did you bring a resume? Yes, of course. Awesome. You're beautiful. Lots of interesting skill sets you have here. So you've never worked in New York? No, I just moved here. And how do you think these skills are going to translate into this position? Well, I think I'm a people person. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. And I think I'm very adaptable when it comes to... Oh yeah, no, I can totally tell. Yeah. So what were you looking for in terms of pay? Uh, Cameron, we need you in this meeting ASAP. Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, look, we're short on time. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, I don't really know what the standard is in terms of pay. Okay, that's fine. Um, I need to move this along, but... We'll be in touch. Oh, okay. Sh should I?
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you stuck around this long, I super, super appreciate it. If you like this video even a little bit, go and click the like button down below. And if you're feeling even a little bit generous, go and click the subscribe button as well, because it's only a button, so why not just push it? And I will see you all very, very soon.